Dana Hydara, June 9, 1946, December 16, 2004, was a co-founder and primary editor of The Point, a major independent Gambian newspaper. He was also a correspondent for both AFP News Agency and Reporters Without Borders for more than 30 years. Haidar also worked as a radio presenter in the Gambia called Radio Sid during his early years as a freelance journalist. Journalism with the Point On December 16, 1991, Haidara co-founded the Point along with Pap Sin and Babu Kargay. Sain and Haidara had been friends since childhood. Gay resigned four months later, and Haidara and Sain ran the paper together for the next decade. Murder Haidara was an advocate of press freedom and a fierce critic of the government of then-President Yahya Jemme, who was openly hostile to Gambian journalists and the media. On December 14, 2004, the Gambia passed two new media laws. One. The Criminal Code Amendment Bill 2004 allowed prison terms for defamation and sedition. The other, the Newspaper Amendment Bill 2004, required newspaper owners to purchase expensive operating licenses, registering their homes as security. Haidara announced his intent to challenge these laws, but on December 16th, was assassinated by an unknown gunman while driving home from work in Banjul. Two of his colleagues were also injured. Over the years, the Gambian government was the target of much criticism for its failure to properly field an investigation and also for intimidating those who made such criticisms. Haidara's family filed a lawsuit against the government for negligence and an Nicola's court ruled in favor of the family in 2014, awarding them $60,000 in damages and legal fees, although the government has not yet complied with the ruling. His murder remains unsolved, although in May 2017, after Adama Barrow replaced Yahya Jame as president, Arrest warrants were issued for two army officers as suspects. Deyde Haidara was survived by his wife and his five children. He was posthumously awarded the PEN Barbara Goldsmith Freedom to Write Award in 2005 and 2010. He won the Hero of African Journalism Award of the African Editors Forum in 2010, sharing the latter with disappeared journalist Ebrim Uman H.I.N. Testimony of LT Malik Jenna before the truth. Reconciliation and Reparations Commission, TRRC, at a public hearing in Banjul on July 22, 2019 Jada said that Haidara was shot on the orders of Jamme. Investigation Controversy and Defamation Trial In November 2008, the International Press Institute began a Justice Denied campaign pressing for investigations into violence against journalists in the Gambia, particularly the still unsolved murder of Data Haidara. At a June 2009 press conference, Gambian President Yahya Jame disparaged questions about the Haidara investigation, saying, And up to now one of these stupid websites carries, Who killed Data Haidara? Let them go and ask Data Haidara who killed him. Although the killers have not yet been brought to justice, it is believed by some that the former government in the Republic of Gambia may have been responsible for this act. The Gambia Press Union then published a statement criticizing the lack of press freedom in Gambia, the stalled progress of the investigation, and the president's remarks, which the union called inappropriate. The statement ran in the point in the weekly newspaper, for Oioa. On June 1 1. The Gambian government responded by arresting six journalists, Pap Sin, news editor Ebrim Asane, and reporter Sir Adijabi Dibur and Pamodu File of The Point, and editor Sam Sar and reporters Emil Touri of Foroy Aha. The six were charged with sedition and criminal defamation of the president. Jabi Diba, the only woman, was held in Mile 2 prison, while Sin, Siwana, File, Sar, and Ture were held in Old Jiz 1 prison. On August 8, Jari Dimba's seven-month-old baby was taken away. Numerous human rights NGOs protested the arrests and called the charges against the journalists to be dropped.
Amnesty International designated the six as prisoners of conscience and demanded their immediate release. The Committee to Protect Journalists also campaigned for Sane's release, as did the World Organization Against Torture, the International Federation for Human Rights, International PEN, the PEN American Center, and frontline defenders. JAMA continued to denounce the journalists, however, making a state television appearance to say, so they think they can hide behind so-called press freedom and violate the law and get away with it? They got it wrong this time, we are going to prosecute them to the letter. On August 7, 2009, the six were convicted and sentenced to two years imprisonment in Mile 2 prison, as well as a fine of 250,000 balazi, 5,780 pounds, apiece. However, Jamie pardoned them in September, following a campaign of domestic and international pressure. The pardons were issued to coincide with Ramadan. In June 2014, a decade after his assassination, the Ecolas Community Court of Justice found the Gambian government liable for failing to diligently investigate Data Haidara's murder. The Nigerian law firm, Aluko and Oibode, represented the family of Data Haidara and the Africa Regional Office of the International Federation of Journalists, IFJ Africa, in the lawsuit against the Gambian government. See also List of Unsolved Murders References